Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to make like the easiest way to make eraser charms. You know, if you've been in my channel, I love, love, love eraser charms. But if this is your first time being in my channel, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Christian and I love anything crafty and I am obsessed with erasers. So yes, um, I'm a hoarder of all things, but most of all it is erasers to turn them into eraser charms. I get them from, you know, Target. Normally, it's going to be coming from Target. These are from Target, the one that I just got recently. You can also get them from the 99 cent store. They come in a variety of packages. And so what is just whatever they have. I just try to be on the lookout for for a lot of these things also from 99 cent store. And so that's what I do. Um, I share it with my daughter. And then I also have friends send me some erasers for my collection. Because they know that I love, love, love them. They look so, so cute. They are, they are adorable. And I love them so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making eraser charms. They are so easy. Absolutely the easiest ever. Uh, and the easiest way I've... I found was this. This just arrived yesterday from Amazon. This idea came from my friend Tammy. She sent me these eye screws and oh my gosh, it is mind-boggling, mind-boggling and it just changed everything for me. I normally use um I, I normally make my own eye pin, but this one is so much easier. I think the eye pin I'm going to use for beads. But this is a system that I probably will be using specifically for erasers because of the screw. So as you can see, I've laid out some erasers. And I've made some of these last night. Um, most of this I made for my daughter. Um, she's She makes bracelets to sell to school. And so that's why I'm giving her some of these and some it's for personal use so look how cute they are they're so darling so we're gonna make some um technically you don't need anything other than your finger and the eye screw but sometimes having this tool helps so let's start let's check out what we're gonna do first it's so easy you're just going to twist it it just takes maybe five seconds to do you know Let's see which one does not have. I think let's do the egg. So right there. So all you need is to push with your dominant hand. When you with your dominant hand, you just push it. I'm gonna show you how to do it with your hand, and I'm gonna show you how to do it with a a tool. So using your right hand right hand is steady and the left one is moving with the eraser that's what i've had so far that's effective for me because i am right-handed so easy that took about you know seven seconds or so let's do another one i'm going to put a link down below on here if you are international i'm going to put a link to these eye screws this is a thousand and less than ten dollars um, this one, uh, if you don't have access to Target or 99 cent store, I'm going to put a link to Oriental Trading. You can also find them in Party City, like this one I found at Party City. Most of them are really, really Target. And yeah, and some of them are given to me by friends. I am so, so grateful that, um... I belong to a crafty community that is so generous and just shares all their resources to other people. I'm just so grateful. I have a lot of friends share with me erasers because they know that I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you everyone. Everyone who sent me erasers. I absolutely appreciate it. This is so cute. This came out last summer. So cute. See, that's done. It's so easy. I, I just wanted to show you guys this quick video because it's so quick. Just imagine making like, um, for example, these Easter erasers. You know, if you have nieces, you can make them like 
Easter necklaces, Easter bracelets would be cute. And or for yourself or Easter earrings or Easter dangles. Like whatever season, like the birds are cute. It's just so easy. You just get an ice screw and man, it's so quick. I used to before this, I use an eye pin, but you have to use um glossy accents to secure them but because of the grooves of the eye screw it has helped tremendously it's up to you if you want to close it further like put a dab of like glossy accents at the um, at the root your choice but these are all gonna go to my daughter she is 12 isn't that so easy what do you think let me know down below let me know down below what is your opinion about this system. I feel that it's so easy. I've been, I wanted to share with you guys um, as soon as I saw this one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody is going to be loving these. Because it's a thousand, it's so cost effective. We tried to buy it at Lowe's and it's so big. Just so big. Um look how cute it's like a thousand of them and man where should i put this should i put this yeah i'm not sure where to put the eye screw but man this changes the game for me so if you i'm going to show you how if you want to do like with a tool it's the same you just as soon as you get hold and as soon as you're buried borrowed in the eraser you just twist away wasn't that so easy so easy i just i just wanted to share with you guys this is going to be probably my quickest video ever anyway um i hope you had fun looking at uh, discovering how to create using eye screws this is super new to me and some of you guys may know this already but for others who don't, this is why I'm sharing it with you. I'm very new to the jewelry. I haven't done, you know, I haven't dabbled in the jewelry. I've just dabbled in the beads um, and with it relating to paper crafting. So, so for the jewelry makers out there, you probably know this already. But for some of you guys who don't know, if I'm able to help just one person realize how amazing these eye screws are with erasers that is happy for me that is all i want where do i put this maybe here but man this is so life-changing i am so so happy um thank you extra extra thank you to my friend tammy who sent me samples of these when she sent me erasers she sent me samples of the eye screw and man Tammy, you changed my life, girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, so easy. You just twist, twist, twist. You can twist it with your right hand. You can twist it with your left. But man, how cute is that? Come on. I think it's so ridiculously amazing. And I wanted to share that with all of you guys. Thank you so much. And I will be... I'm, I'm doing a... Um, 4,000 subscriber giveaway so I'm going to be adding a boatload of these handmade charms handmade eraser charms in the package just sprinkled everywhere I think that will be so absolutely wonderful for the recipient to have all these um, to have a lot of these um, eraser charms I think they're absolutely genius um, the, the person who told me about this erasers turning into charms ever since it was patty during one of my lives and then d also started this trend so i am just grateful to have these wonderful creative ladies in my life that has turned me into obsessed crazy lady <laughs> for erasers <laughs> thank you so much everyone anyways I thought this is going to be a super quick video, but no, because I'm talking too much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at these cuties. Um, 
I hope it inspires you to create some eraser charms using your eraser stash. If you don't have any erasers, just check it out. I'm going to put a link down below for these eye screws just in case you're interested. You want to dabble. It is a crazy obsession of mine. <laughs> if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. But anyway, this is this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new to my channel, I hope, hope, hope that you can consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers this year. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, um, I hope you can give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!